All right, today we're coming here with another crazy ass Mugen video, and we're gonna be seeing what's gonna happen if we put Giorno going into Dio's mansion. As you know, the Joe Stars took on Dio and finished Dio in part three with some crazy ass action. I would like to see if Giorno could replace Jotaro and his squad, seeing if Giorno's mafioso could enter Dio's castle and come out alive. I feel like this would be a crazy ass matchup. Also, getting to see Dio and Giorno meet will also be very very cool. Honestly, I feel like this will be very clean. All around let me know down below what y'all think of this little idea be on the joy shibaiso and we out of here Alright, what's good everybody, it's your boy So and today we're here with another Mugen video, I was gonna say another JoJo's Bizarre Adventure video, basically kinda, we're gonna be putting Buch Bucciarati's team along with Giorno, kinda like Giorno's team, as y'all know Giorno did become the boss, so Giorno, Giovanna's Mafioso raid Dio's castle, I wanna know if Giorno's like, you know, his little entourage's team, if they raided Dio's mansion, could they all make it all the way into the end, as y'all know, I had to put a couple people on Dio's team, like kinda replace the people that we don't have because you know we don't have the bird we don't have a couple people that were at dio's mansion so i decided to throw in poochie because i know at one point he was at dio's lair and he is really cool with poochie i mean he's really cool with dio a lot of people have been suggesting that for the last video so i decided to put poochie in there along with dio as well as whole horse who was on dio's entourage and vanilla ice who was in dio's mansion his vampire demon the other only other vampire to have a stand I'm not gonna lie, Vanilla Ice had a lot of potential, but Dio kind of did him kind of wrong. I don't know, but without further ado, we're gonna get into it. And I'm gonna let you guys see, you know, would Giorno's team be able to raid Dio's mansion? We're gonna start off with Giorno, not Giorno, with Narancia. Then we got Mista, Bruno Bucciarati, and then Giorno. As you'll know, this Narancia has hella range, so that's one thing for sure. My boy Narancia is is probably gonna. Oh, well, both of them actually have a lot of range. They both kind of use guns. Narancia uses a plane. Which is, oh, he actually just pulled his plane out. But, uh, yo, Whole Horse has the range of hell, which is, they both can shoot each other from far, but Whole Horse does a lot more damage, it looks like. Right now, it's not looking good. Narancia is having a hard time. Whole Horse is obviously part four. So he was, uh, or part three. He was with Jotaro and the rest of them. I feel like he would have, Narancia would have a hard time. <laughs> they really have this little kicking technique that they did to Giorno while he was on the ground. Not Giorno, but that other guy, which is hilarious. It's sad that that's actually a move, but okay. Like a lot, whole horse is doing really good. He was doing really good before, but um, and and before he's really doing, he's doing a lot more damage now. But Naracha did a little bit better towards the end. I'm not gonna lie, so Naracha looks like he might end up losing this. Yeah, it's just he. Narancia looks like he's just he's not as aggressive as Whole Horse, and it's just it's not doing what it needs to do. I'm not even gonna lie. We got 70 seconds on the clock. Narancia's getting shot down right now, and every time he tries to get close, Whole Horse just shoots him away. He can't get close. There we go. Now he's close. Now, well, this this might be able to do something. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let me find out. Like Narancia's going crazy. Okay. Wait a minute. This might be it. Okay, so that was actually decent damage. Arancha actually is doing decent. Maybe he can help the next person to come out, you know, by doing a little damage to the whole horse. Right now, if he gets a, I can see him. Oh my god, yo, that counter, that counter hurts. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, and Arancha falls to whole horse, but he did do a decent amount of damage for the next person to go against whole horse. As y'all know, like I said, we were doing in a tournament of anime, four turns type of format. Now he has Mista. This is gonna be a gun battle. I feel like Mies is definitely the better gun user just because his, his bullets are actually alive. But Whole Horse was actually like kinda like the Mista before Mista. He was nice at his with his guns. He was always strong. He always could put in, you know, he put in his work. And I feel like, like I said, he was the kind of like the Mista before Mista. I don't know why uh Whole Horse is going with so many counters, but they're working. I'm not even gonna lie. Yo, me, yo, whole horse with his range. This shit is super. We might even, we might have to see. Girono might have to take this guy down because I'm not gonna lie. Right now, it's looking like most of the game cannot take this guy down. Okay, there we go. We got some combos. Doing damage. 
Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking pretty decent. Here we go, we got a little bit of combos. Right now, Whole Horse is doing actually decent up close, but Mista is not really letting out too many moves. There we go, Mista. Oh, here we go, another ultimate. Two ultimates in one video? Oh my god, and I'm not even gonna lie, that shit did not even land. <laughs> that boy Mista is getting fried right now. But, hey man, next up we're gonna see Pucciarati come out. Hopefully he can help out because Mista, it wasn't going too bad for Mista, <laughs> right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Mista is definitely not a... Uh, He's definitely not getting what he needs to get done. But here we go. Now we got Bucciarati. Bucciarati is a better close range type of fighter than Mista. For some reason, a lot of these gun users be a little glitchy. But he has to get past... Um... Oh, here we go. Okay. He has to get past... Uh... He has to get close to Whole Horse. Because I'm not even going to lie. Whole Horse be doing... What the hell? I was about to say, those two Whole Horses for a second. Holy shit. Is Whole Horse going to solo all of the team except for Giorno? This is what it's looking like so far. Yo, that counter, that counter is killing them right now. Yeah, that counter is like literally just carrying whole horse. I'm not even gonna lie. How the fuck is whole horse over here punching so damn fast? And it's like, oh, 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 oh. It's close. I'm not even gonna lie. It's close. I'm like, Bruno, which is probably gonna want to put another one of those things on the ground because, oh my god, that's it's close as hell. And Bucciarati actually takes the W. Oh my God, that it was it, it was way too much. I'm not even gonna lie, my boy. It was way too close. Hopefully, my boy Bucciarati can do a little bit of damage before he goes away. Oh my God, yeah. I was about to say Vanilla Ice is a problem though. As y'all know, he was a problem in the show. I don't see Bucciarati doing too much against him because when he fights, you literally cannot even hit him. He just disintegrates shit. That shit is crazy. Okay. So now we get Vanilla Ice against Giorno. Y'all know Giorno. This is the Giorno from the tournament. Oh my god. Like I said, he's going to be blitzing most people down. He's literally too strong. Like the deal on the other team, Dio is very, very strong as well. So it's kind of going to come down to them. Maybe Pucci. I kind of want to see a little bit more Vanilla Ice, but shit, I'm not going to lie. That boy Whole Horse kind of carried. He took it all the way into the last person. Now we have Pucci. I'm not going to lie. This Pucci is decent, but he has to, you know, count. Like I said, he needs to get all the way to his, his, his max count. He did do just like, what, four to five counts. He needs to get all the way to 14 or something like that to get to his first um transformation. But right now, it's not going too well for him. Yeah, he can't even pop any moves. Urina already put him inside of the Requiem. Okay. Yeah, this is just doing too much damage. This is just frying him. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. He literally can't even move. There we go. Some combos. Oh my god, the damage is just unbelievable. That boy, that boy Poochies did way better than obviously Vanilla Ice, but he just, he couldn't get his counts off. Mr. Giorno is very aggressive. Now we're on the final fight, Dio versus Giorno. I wonder what would happen, like I said, if these two met each other. I kind of want to see Giorno meet more of the main cast, the people who took down his father. So we get to see here and today how, you know, this fight's going to go. We got Rebirth Dio. Dio's obviously a problem off rip. As y'all can see, he's doing major damage to Giorno as soon as the match starts. Now he can't use any more specials. Giorno, Giorno has some things up his own sleeve that give you know give him his own advantages. But he's gonna need a lot more than you know regular punches because Dio just does insane damage. He'll chase you down and just keep damaging you as y'all been seeing. Time stop, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I thought he couldn't even use any moves, but he was still able to use an ultimate. I don't know how much damage the Royal Roller does, and we know that some characters it is a one shot, but it could be. Oh my god, it did some decent damage. Yeah, Giorno is just gonna have a hard time taking this version of his father out. I've seen this Giorno actually do good against Dio before, but Dio has his little mode on, as you see on the left side, the little gold aura, and it just gives Dio too much of an advantage. He's just taking over way too much against Giorno. Okay. A counter after counter and all that. And Giorno is definitely going to have to pop something like the 15 page mood or something else if he wants to be able to take down Giorno. I'm not Giorno, Dio. Because he did do damage to Dio in the beginning multiple times. But Dio has that vampire regeneration. That's one thing about part three that I did like that was vampires. I feel like vampire with a stand is just too unfair. 
if they ever found out how to like survive in the stunt sun it would be it will be over oh my god and that's game that might be game the boy said check me he already knew it was game that's game yeah that's def oh wait Giorno survived it nah Giorno falls to his father dio Man, that was a crazy ass matchup. Let me know down below what y'all want to see. We got more videos coming very, very soon. Make sure to drop your ideas. Subscribe request video coming as well. And I hope you enjoy it. It's your boy, so and we out here.